Gentlemen! Welcome! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> wait, ah. wait. Yeah. Welcome wait. to the game show! <laughs> but not all is as it seems. So yeah, the whole premise of this video is I'm lying to my friends the entire time. Um, they think they're part of a competition where they're going to be guessing Pokemon based off of their dex entries. Yo, this budget goes crazy. <laughs> when in reality, they're going to be guessing the Pokemon that I redesigned. You may be asking yourself, what's going on here? Well, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to tell you the rules first. All right. Oh, okay. All of them are taking this competition seriously. It's a quiz show based on Pokedex entries. And y'all, for the most part, except one person here, are Poketubers. So you should know this. <laughs> fuck yeah, you, Matt. Matt. Yeah, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Well, for the most part. So, very first rule. Use your brain. Fuck. All right, I gotta leave. I know, that's gonna be very difficult for some of you here. Do we, do we, go, do we have a replacement? Anyway! There's a couple things to keep in mind when it came to these redesigns, though. See, most of these dex entries were created by literal 10-year-olds, so something the size of, like, you know, Mad Cargo, all of a sudden becomes this legendary beast within Pokedex terms. You may ask a singular yes or no question throughout this entire ordeal. And your last one. Good luck, have fun. Is that a requirement? Mm, <laughs> yes, yes. Put your hand down, Frank. Just ask a question. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Even though 10-year-olds might be you know, little psychopaths, they actually do come up with some pretty neat ideas on occasion. I'm glad Frank beat me to it, though, because next thing was, any questions? <laughs> oh, hey! Oh. Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Moral support. Dad, he's throwing it back. <laughs> hey, there's no questions about that. Uh-uh. I have a question. Can we, can we keep him? Can you we... want to keep him for the entire time? Yeah. Can, can, that, can we keep the Thanos gift? I think it helped for morale. I know Matt really likes that gift. We'll keep Thanos up and board, okay? The very first thing that you're going to be shown. Whoa! So, Whoa. here's your Whoa. first hint for your very first Pokemon. Uh, what does this mean for the this economy? This is a dex entry? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait. This is just a visual cue to get your mind juices flowing, okay? I know it's early for some here. I just want to make sure everybody's prepared, you know? Is this a PLA background? Mm -hmm. Legally, no. That's his yes or no question. That's his question. That counts. <laughs> yeah, that counts. That, that counts. counts. That counts. That counts. Okay. I'll, we'll take that. And first up, the lizard Pokemon, which is very helpful that at least the category told me it was a lizard because... So this Pokemon has a fire on the tip of its tail to measure its life force. When it rains, the tip of its tail tends to steam. Oh, I didn't realize this was... I already sent in my answer. I didn't realize this was baby mode. It's gonna be like Mega Charizard Y. I'm feeling self-conscious right now. Because 10-year-olds literally don't know how to write anything else besides fire go purr. So, let's take a look at some of these answers before we reveal who the actual Pokemon is. Also, Frank being very prepared also has looks like post-it notes ready with his answer. Would you like to reveal to the class? I, I said Charmander. You said Charmander? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that's what I said, yeah. Alright, well, we have our lovely assistant here today to help us out with that that's answer. That's you. That's you. That's not me. That's you. That's you. Yes, All right. So the answer is Woo! Yeah. Charmander. Yeah. What is wrong? What's wrong what with, it? Happened to with him? it? What do you mean? This is Charmander. Bro, you got to treat that thing. <laughs> Charmander, turn around. The people what? want to see your face. What happened to him? I think he's deep in thought right now. He's questioning his life choices. Buddy, but. It Oh, he's oh, out. He's gone. <laughs> he's gone. You can't sleep on the he job. Died. What are you he doing, died. Charmander? Up again. Right, up again? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So oh, nice. Charmander, cool. yes. Dude, his face got bigger. Wait, so, wait, so explain, explain the design choices. Like, why, why, why the green? Why, so, like, hit, hit us with it. See, I knew going into this design that it was a lizard Pokemon with fire that came out of its tail. But nothing in the Pokedex entries really mentioned that Charmander is actually scared of rain. Just that when it does rain, it's tail steam so I i'm thinking like tropical lizard or whatnot and if we're gonna go with a tropical lizard then i think the best way it'd be able to camouflage itself is well to make it green seems logical to me and of course i wanted this little gamer to be a very happy healthy lizard so of course i had to make the tail as fiercely flamed as possible so if y'all haven't caught on uh this video is about redesigning pokemon based off of their pokedex entries you lied to me uh i'm in the gray zone right now how about that it was it wasn't really a lie it was more like just admission of truth which i i kind of fuck which with. is a lie which is a lie yeah you would fuck with it frank this is like your fetish <laughs> oh lie to my friends oh god round number one everybody here has the imaginary 100 points except for Culpa. I'm so sorry. You said Charizard. <laughs> you are the evolution line, so I would give you an extra 10 points, but you know. Wow, how how- <laughs>
We're gonna just move on to the next Pokemon. Oh, the missing nose, <laughs> like a like, like a placeholder. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. So the next one lives in a cave, right? I mean, I think that's safe to assume. Next up, we have the Darkness Pokemon. It is said to be scary. <laughs> Any questions before we go into the decks entries? Why? But you also have to remember, this is scary in the mind of a 10 year old. All right, there you go. There's your there's your one question for the entire you thing. You fucked up, Patters. <laughs> no, you fucked up. Yes or no question. No. And it could be a yes or no question if you try yeah. hard enough. Pokemon number two. This Pokemon likes to hide dark caves. And then all of a sudden you see something that has crystals protruding through its skin. A sinister smile meets your gaze from across the cave floor. Uh, also, he likes to dig around for rocks um, with his big meaty claws. D d do y'all like to dig around in caves with big meaty claws? Yeah, I know exactly what this uh, is. Yeah, not gonna lie. That probably scared the piss out of me too. Well, if you uh, want more information, it tends to eat those rocks that it digs up with its big meaty claws. It's just like me for real. And your last dex entry, it uh, tends to instill fear in people just using its eyes. But who's to say that it needs to be scary? Like, why can't it be just a big old cuddly creature that is just misunderstood? So that's what I made it into. I'd like to formally apologize for calling this baby mode because I have no clue what this is. Oh, Culpa, you might have somebody to help you warm up last place over there. I'm only sticking around for Thanos. How you feeling, Matt? You sound like you uh you have some reservations there. What's going on, buddy? Does it have to be a Pokemon? Preferably. <laughs> it's Agumon. <laughs> Can I put Goron? You want to put Goron? <laughs> oh. I mean, if you want to put Goron, nobody's really going to stop you here. Let's go ahead and reveal. Dude. Whoa! 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 What, the Whoa. Ew. The hell? what is it? Is what is it? it? Sableye? Sable I'm Sableye. That thing eats all the friggin'. Dude, that makes so much sense. sense. Or at least my definition of big and cuddly. These guys didn't seem to think so. Not cuddly. Around. Mean yeah. cuddly monster. I'm, I'm not cuddly. Not cuddly. How cute he is. I'm not cuddling that. No. Yeah, I also think the plague was cute. Like, what's your point here? I love its design, but I hate it. I hate looking at it. I have nothing but love. I... I'm scared. Yeah, I thought it was Drillbur. That's what, okay, yeah, I thought I it was an Excadrill. Well, I said yeah! Excadrill. I wasn't an idiot. I feel like a moron. Excadrill's way cooler than this guy. So, <laughs> Facts. Did nobody get this if right? If COVID-19 no. spread every four years like the Olympics, I'd rather have that than hang out with this one. I, I will say it makes me feel a lot better that none of us got that. I, I, I guess I'll see y'all at the unemployment line tomorrow. You're doing a um, fucking <laughs> shit job. <laughs> Jesus, next Pokemon. Next up probably has to be my favorite design out of this whole thing. I just absolutely absolutely love this little dude and teacher I, I have a confession you have a confession I have a to make? confession is it your love to me F yes first off the second <laughs> confession is uh when you knocked out the pokemon it shows the experience thing of your whole team uh -huh. uh, i saw what this one is <gasps> so we have a oh. cheater among us <laughs> you, you, among us shoot it you shoot that's it to us that's crazy that's not that strong team pet yeah <laughs> you <laughs> You showed well, it to us when you when This you is, the this is no team. longer a free for all. This is a 4v1. Tavi, you're the what? raid boss right I now. I saw one. I saw one. You're now my assistant. Everybody message your answers to Pat. Yes. Really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> what? On, so then we don't have will... it. Can we? Can we... Bring him in. He is now eliminated, uh, and the only person that's last is Culpa now. So that means. Thanks for thanks for reminding everyone, Tavi. <laughs> you're welcome. I have to keep everybody up to date around here, you know? Do a Charizard. <laughs> now, I know I just covered that 10 year olds are the ones writing these Pokedex entries, but. <laughs> it imitates. It's the voice of a child. That is your very first dex entry. If this thing actually does steal the souls of children and abuse that soul into a stump, um, yeah, no, I think that's pretty scary. It's gotta be a ghost type, right? Mm, possibly. Objection! Wait, that was a question. And you're giving a sort of no, answer. No, wait, no, it wasn't my question. That was a question. Right, since Pat's helped me officiate this, what are you thinking, my cohort? As my as the assistant who now gets a massive paycheck and lots of mm. money. Uh, oh yeah, $20 in your PayPal later. I would like to say that that was the question. What? Was, what do you mean? I was, was thinking about the question. Was no, the question. No, no, okay, no, 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 no talk. Right. Democracy wins the day. So we're gonna go the route of making this one actually scary. Yeah, I know, crazy. All right, I have all the answers. Gentlemen, here is Pokemon number three. Yeah, let's go. Oh, oh, big dog. Oh. Right. Dude, that that he looks like sick. he looks like one of the Chow from Sonic Adventure yes. 2. It looks like Groot if Groot was dead. And the first thing that popped in my mind when I heard like, you know, forest dwelling, children, spirit stealing creature, uh, I got Blair Witch Project vibes. And if you remember Blair Witch Project, you remember those little dolls that were hanging at like that one scene? I kind of drew some inspiration for that in the design. But he's also there. like a Chow. He's like a little Sonic Adventure Chow. Like evil. And Groot. I'm gonna act like I know that reference. I'm very uncultured. So, I gave it a whole entire torso. Its feetsies never touched the ground, and it's just a floaty little dude going, oh, I'm good. 
Well, first thing, uh, I'm happy to say everyone got it right, so congratulations, guys. Everybody gets points on the board. Even Culpa, let's go. Dude, yeah, Tavi, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna report this video for harassment when it goes up. Now, this Pokemon in particular, I feel like I was kind of, you know, limited in what choices I could get. Um, seeing that it was a pig monkey, you only, knew, you only knew this one, right, Pat? No, well. Yeah, I only knew this one. Oh, okay. Oh, so, no, okay, never dude. mind. All right. This is a democracy here, and Matt looks like he has some thoughts. Matt, give your thoughts. I'm thinking I'm gonna. this video's going to come out, and it's going to have Vinny, Tobin, Dylan, and somebody else in it instead. Oh, no. <laughs> going all the contestants right now. I feel like we should rope Pat back in for the next round. Pat, all right. Everybody you, in you, favor, Frank. say aye. 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 I'm aye. in favor. All right. Pat's back in. No more assistance status for you. I'm taking back my $20, by the way. What? Pokemon number four. Bro, hey, they're up yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Take it in, soak it in. I mean, I want to say like a flying type, but I don't know. Could just be a Pokemon that climbs. The most difficult thing about trying to redesign Pokemon based off their dex entries is trying to clear your mind of what these Pokemon are and trying to unbiase yourself before going into it. I want to use my one question that I can get a yes or no answer to, please. Go for it, Pat. Is it a bird? Mm, no. You have to think about that. I did have yeah, to think wow. about that. Sorry, my, my brain went on. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Sorry, I just... But mm. maybe I cleared my mind a little too much. But this guy right here uh, is a little too on the nose as far as its deck entries go. May I also use my one-time yes or no question? Wow, this is a confusing Pokemon for everybody. Okay, Frank, go for it. Desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> Will you go to prom with me? Oh! I knew I got this crochet for a reason, yes. Yes! Let's go! Yes! Yeah! Let's go! I'm not giving you extra oh points, God. though. I'm sorry. Uh oh. What? But I will pick you up he... at 7 p.m. Wait, can you have his question back, though? It, it's okay. No, I, I, that was worth it. All right. Fourth Pokemon. It's quick to anger. Uh, it's a very angry Pokemon. So what I wanted to capture with this design is a Pokemon that didn't look like a left testicle, but still looked like a pig monkey. It's Tobin. <laughs> you could say it's short-tempered. Oh. It's a very agile Pokemon that likes to live in trees. It's also said that oh. if it's left alone, its loneliness makes it more angry. So what is the angriest monkey that I can think of off the top of my head? A bamboo. A bamboo? A baboon. Okay, I, I'm be I'm between two right now. I think I think I know what it I think I know what it is. I'm I'm between two, but I think I know which one. Yeah, I mean, come on, baboons have to be like the angriest monkey I know. Except Rafiki. Rafiki seemed pretty chill. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna lock that in. We're gonna lock that in real quick. I didn't cheat like Pat, but I got a pretty good idea. I <laughs> I've taken a look at all the answers. One person guessed something differently than the rest. Oh god, it's probably it's me. Not me. We all said monkey, right? <laughs> I put primate. Well, let us see. Wait, what? Yeah, that's a little guy. It's, it's a little that's, guy. It's a little it's, guy. I'll, I'll get you a little zoom in on him. <gasps> oh, damn. Oh, oh, is he wearing I, I glasses? That's modeled over Chimchar, isn't it? Definitely Chimchar. I will confirm nor deny nothing, but I'm going to distract you with a fringy tail and also a baboon butt. <gasps> oh, that's, that's sick. So cool. That's so cool. Oh, I, I like love that. that. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> what, do you expect me not to give this thing a butt? I mean, come on. A baboon. That's what they're known for. That dog. All right, contestants, this is the final round. We're triple points. So literally anybody can win if you get this right. Wow. So then the rest were pointless. Wait, but I, he did, it, wait, he did I the YouTube thing. Yeah, the points the were YouTube worthless. Thing. The whole point of this was for me to show off. You know, you're, you're so valid for that, but also my pride's kind of at stake. All right, here's your Whoa. very Whoa. Nice Whoa. Whoa. Fuck. Whoa. Pokemon. Oh, that's so sick. Whoa, <laughs> I, I, I love this. Now this last one, when I tell you, was a nightmare to put together. Is he on a leash? Is that a leash? Why is he on a leash? Kinky. Y y do you want that as your question? Yeah, I'm gonna lock that in. He's not on a leash, I will say. I'm talking, I spent probably four extra days working on this thing just to make sure that it was absolutely perfect. But I think the end result makes it all that much better. Wait, I actually know what it is. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write it down. I'm gonna write it down before you even show the deck entry. I locked in my answer. Hands up. I'm not even gonna, I don't even need the, I don't even need the entries. Does it Everybody want to take charge like Frank did? Do you want to submit your answers before you even see the deck entries? Fuck no, give me the deck entry. <laughs> I feel like I have a good idea on what it is. Like, mm -hmm. you know, it's not some jobber. It's not some McDonald's employee like Ludicolo. Like, it's gotta be... I just think Ludicolo is a pretty respectable Pokemon. I think it's pretty... Do <laughs> you, you see him with a leash? working at McDonald's. First off, let me say, there's nothing wrong working at McDonald's. Your last deck entries. See, this Pokemon is known as a continent puller. You know how big continents are? It is said to have been doing it for centuries, legends say. Oh, I, I think I I think I, I think I got it. Continents? Like the earth got seven of them things? Is that right? I don't know. Your last dex entry. And it's pulling them with that booty? 
it is said to have made three other Pokemon made of Come ice, rock, oh, and magma. Let us know what you don't get this wrong. You don't fail on this, surely. I, no, I got it wrong. I'm not going to take it back, what? though. Did he put yeah. Grout on? What did you think? I, you put Grout on? I put, I put Grout on, yeah. Oh, I already submitted mine. I should Damn. get bonus points, bro. <laughs> I said this in a triple round. <laughs> oh, no. Something so ginormous that is created using mountains, ice, magma. Is everybody ready? Yeah. I wonder if Pat got it right. <laughs> <laughs> two people here have gotten it right. Only two? One person is a cheater, what? and the last person that got it right was in last place. What did you do with it? So here we have... Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus Christ. Dude, that looks like a Ben 10 alien. I was thinking Ben 10 that as well. looks like a Ben 10 alien. Yeah, he does. I was oh. But let's be real. Can this thing right here actually pull continents? I mean, yeah, it's big, but is it continental big? I don't think so. But what if? The Dex entries did mention that this thing used to tow continents on its back. And I just thought to myself, you know how large them things are and it's pulling them? So I turned it into the largest Pokemon ever. So this is oh Reggie God, Gigas's true form. That is the biggest <laughs> man I've fantastic. ever seen in my life. I want him to step on me. I don't know how you managed to do that. <laughs> the people in this town are just trying to pick up their groceries. Oh, she wants, oh. She's, she's, dead. she's dead. She's dead. She's dead. Yeah. That's it. She's dead. Would you gentlemen like to see what happens when this thing gets sent out in the terrarium? Yes. Kind of. Yeah. Um, I think it's an excellent choice to fight and execute with this thing, you know? Oh, oh my God. Oh, okay. He's the earth. He starts twerking like our gentleman Thanos, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what were, what were, who got, what did everyone get? This was a victory not expected by anybody here, and yet you managed to pull it off. So tell us, how'd you do it? I, uh, I cheated.